Connie and Curtis. If you're taking your pile of mats selfie uh, down at Calder <laughs> Plaza with the hashtag pile of mats on our Twitter or uh, on Facebook, you just uh, upload those pictures and we would love to see them. Now, the artist who came up, with it's the- called Uplift, actually, Curtis. Right. It's Jared. Jared Beck. Jared, good morning. From the NYC. <laughs> good morning. Jared, Hi, how are Jared. You? <laughs> Uh, good morning. I, okay. I'm good. How are you? Oh, we're fabulous. So glad that you're on. And let me preface this by saying yes. you don't get so offended. A pile of math. <laughs> I was just going to say, you don't get offended about your art, do you? Jared, I. I no. Okay, so on Thursday, uh-huh. I was walking around our prize with my wife. Uh, it is a huge event here in Grand Rapids. We love it. I mean, the city just comes alive for these two weeks. It, it really it, does. It is awesome. Yeah. And we were walking around and we're, we're looking at all the art, mm-hmm. and we got to Calder Plaza, and we both thought that your piece, Uplift, was a pile of mats that had been left over from like a weekend activity that they were going to be cleaning up or that it oh. was going to be made into something else to become an art prize exhibit. And then it made the top 25 in <laughs> its form, which confused the heck out of us. Well, then you found out that they weren't mats. They're, what are they, Jared? So they're conveyor belts um, that were once used in mine. That's cool. And the, it, it, yeah, that that is cool. a backstory. Uh, and the meaning of uplift is great, mm-hmm. but I didn't get it, and I still really don't get it. Yeah, I mean, no, can he you, doesn't get it. Can Jared. you explain? <laughs> can you explain it to us, please? Wait, does this offend sure. you? Does this offend you? No, not at all. Not okay. at all. And okay. you know, part of the piece was up in New York for a year, and and I, you know, I heard a lot. Uh, I heard similar reactions to the piece, okay. and and you know, part of making work in public is. You know, it's exciting, and a lot of people um, see it, and you get to speak to a lot of people while you're building it. Mm -hmm. And that's important to me. Um, But it's also, I know that, you know, I want only only a few people really need to feel, you know, the emotional kind of weight of the piece. And and for for others, I'm really happy that you gave it a second look um, and that you kind of maybe tried to figure it out. And I think that's part of the part of the piece is that, it maybe doesn't scream. It's not a. It's not that that, that beautiful Grand Vitesse, the beautiful Calder that's on the plaza. It's not screaming that it is sculpture. Um, but it kind of, it's you know, kind of questioning. Um, it's luring you closer to it to kind of question it. I guess such an artist. I, right. This that's is, you're such an artist. Now I'm such an artist. Yeah, you <laughs> are. Not, that's awesome. Now, so this is not an original piece for our prize. This is something that you had set up in New York. Prior to our um, prize, so the, how the piece works is that I um, I source that material and I do um, these kind of stacked pieces in paper um, and rubber and wood um, and and so I brought this material uh, to our prize uh, and kind of created created the sculpture there. It kind of changes each time that I build it because okay. I build it okay. um, mat by mat. And you um, you so, do it you do it with paper wait you too? just called a mat so you have like I know just for you <laughs> <laughs> so you do paper too so you have like a pile of papers uh, art, art piece as well oh I do you should check out my website jaredcharlesbeck.com jaredcharlesbeck.com um, we'll put the link up at uh, my channel ninety five seven dot com we'll absolutely. get that up so you are what what uh, so like I, I understand painting as an art form I understand like sculptures. Yeah. What uh, to you made you think, hey, I'll just make this pile of mats and this will be <laughs> this will be my art. I mean, something had to click in your head that this is what you wanted to did make. you. Yeah. Like, did you did you see the conveyor belts and you were like, what can I turn those into? You know, I saw images of the conveyor belts as ro- full rolls. And I don't know. There's something about rolls that I get really excited about. There's a lot of potential <laughs> packed into rolls. Okay. But those pieces actually, the, the stack pieces started from. Um, another crazy artist thing is that I used to walk around New York City and pick up um, broken pieces of plexiglass and then take them back to the studio and trace the break in the plexiglass oh. over and over again. Are there a lot like of broken of pieces of plexiglass? Of there are. It's, there's a lot of Weird. everything in New York City. Uh, okay. That's true. And uh, yeah. so those pieces were about kind of capturing that, that, that incidental kind of violent moment and just you know, reliving it over and over and over again. And I, that's where these kind of stacked 
sculptures kind of come from. Okay. Because I build, I build them, you know, one line at a time and make these kind of incidental kind of decisions as I go. And that's what gives the thing this, you know, kind of fluid form that you see on the plaza. So where... Where is Pile of Mats Uplift? I'm sorry. Where is Uplift? Where is that going to end up? Where is its home going to be after Art Prize is done? Um, well, I'm talking to a few venues. One is in Amarillo, Texas. Okay. Um, like a loading dock. And then a museum <laughs> is going to show it. And then uh, I also have, um, uh, and I will be able to install it on some land in West Texas in the desert. And that's probably where it will go to... Um, Wait. You're you know, gonna be put, permanently installed. So you're putting it in the desert. I am. Yeah. Have you ever seen rubber in the desert? It's kind of beautiful. No. Oh. Can you imagine? You're walking in the desert. You're lost somewhere. Or you're hiking. You're and doing you something. See that? And you come across a big pile of mats. You would think <laughs> it'd be like a, like an oasis. <laughs> yeah, I know. It would right. Be. So, who owns the land that you're putting them on? Um, there, I have some friends in West Texas that okay. uh, own that land. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> when you entered, I, I mean, I guess as a competitor and as an artist, you always think that there's a chance that you're going to win or become one of the top 25. But when you, you, you see the scope of Art Prize and all of the things, did you think that like the pile of mats was going to, <laughs> was going to win? uplift? Well, yeah, uplift was going to to make the top 25. Um, I know that it's a really good piece, um, and uh, I I'm very excited that that the jurors kind of you did. Know, you, did you get to talk to the jurors? And, no, I didn't. I okay, haven't so because yeah. that would have explained a lot to me. Because you talk very <laughs> passionately about right. it, and you right. you are you love it, and you were making me actually kind of like it the way that you discuss it and talk about it. So I I was thinking in my head, oh, obviously he talked to the jurors. And they, okay. they were swayed by him. How old are you, Jared? I am 38. 38. Okay, so is this your favorite piece you've ever done as an artist? Um, you know, at, this one was not my favorite when it started. And now that I've put it up three times, it's becoming okay. um, it's becoming a favorite. And I have to say that that cauldron on that plaza is so beautiful. Uh-huh. And it was so amazing to like have a few days there with it and build the piece. And um, I'm really... I'm kind of most excited about this version of the piece, the one that's uh, that I installed in Grand Rapids. So, and, and you said I mean, that it, it it changes. So, do you? It changes. The, it's a little looser it? than it was in New York. Do you change it, or is it just how they the the mats lie? Um, the la- the mats speak to me. No, um, <laughs> it, I change it. <laughs> I I change it depending, you know, just kind of depending on. A little bit on the site, um, but just also, you know, discovering uh, new properties of the mats. Um, you know, I, I had, in New York, I had really kind of locked the piece down because it was in a very busy um, area in the Lower East Side. Okay. And then, you know, in Grand Rapids, I know that people are, are a little more careful with art, and it's any, within the context of Art Prize. Mm-hmm. Um so I felt like I could, I could, you know, give it a little right. bit more of that of the looseness. I think okay. that you see. we did have one horrible instance of vandalism uh, this year, and this year's our prize. Uh, someone oh, no. who, who is art that we also didn't really understand uh, <laughs> beads on a fence. <laughs> uh, the guy, right? Guy, guy hung yep. he, he, yeah, he hung uh, all these beads. Last and, Saturday, people just walked and by people and took the beads, them. but I think they didn't realize that. That was a part. I think they thought it was a part of Art Prize, but they didn't realize it was an artist's work, and they thought the right. bees were there for the taking. So this poor yeah. guy. You should see the the before and after picture was really sad. It is. Yeah, I know it was. So are you going to come back if you win? Are you coming back? Oh well, yeah, get I'm your definitely art. coming back. Yeah. Okay. You want, because and a lot of the artists. Are you in New York right now? I am, yeah. Because a lot of the artists are are spending time like with their art and explaining it. And I think if you had been there uh, to explain like the pile of mats, maybe <laughs> it would have had a bigger uh, like I would have understood it more as art. I, and I went yeah. and I, I read about it on the artprize.org right. dot and, and realized what you had done. But still, I mean, I just can't wrap my head around that it's one of the, the top <laughs> top twenty. I'm sorry, I just it. it no it, offense, no, it, Jared. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> but maybe that's what what art is. Supposed I love to it. Do. do you paint? Yeah, um, I I make drawings. Um, okay, I don't really paint, but yeah. Okay, I do. I work in video. I work in. I'm doing a lot of um, uh, cast paper, handmade paper pieces right now. 
Okay. Stacks. Glass. So do you think that you'll be in Art Prize again next year? Um, I I love the experience. Uh, so I don't know what pieces I I'll be making <gasps> oh, this about, year, like but a, if one uh, makes sense, it's per a, pile of that? sweaters or a stack of cups. <laughs> <laughs> pile of sweaters it's the most perfect thing because it's fall you do love fall i do love sweaters too uh, I, uh, a pile of leaves <laughs> stack of cups and then we Dang. could have a stack of apples right i mean yeah i don't know we we're we're, we're glad that you called in Jared. i love we, it and you're a good sport i hope you come back sam our producer year. was very nervous uh that you were going to like hang up after one question we're glad that you you, you explain you explain the pile of mats to me uh we are still like we we're having a lot of fun with it we are. because we're having our hey. listeners go and take s- selfies yeah. and post them with the hashtag it's pile the of mats. single piece of art that we've talked about we've talked about the most on this show Absolutely. so there you go right? well i like hearing it i like hearing that and i'm glad you're taking time and i think that there's something about this piece that is grabbing your attention. So it probably is. Yeah, that, I want to take a nap. So that means it's successful <laughs> to me. <laughs> awesome, Jared. Well, thank you. So thank you much. for being a good sport. Do you know your? Uh, okay. do, you, do you know the number um, of of pile of mats if people want to vote for it? We can we can give that out if you know the number. Yeah, it's six. Two two seven seven. Okay, six two two seven seven. If you want to vote for a pile of mats, it's yeah. called Uplift. It is down at uh, Calder Plaza uh, on Ottawa at Michigan. You can't miss it. It's a it, it's a big pile of mats. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good days out there. All you right, too. you too. Bye. What a good sport. I mean, I'm was, amazed how what a good sport all these artists have been that we've kind of been playing with for the last couple of years. But it's like when people say to us, like if we're out at, at Meyer or we're hanging out uh, at somewhere and they say, you know what, I, I like listening to you guys except when you do this. Right. I mean, we, we take that too. And we understand that everybody has a different something, a different hot button. Right. You know, so he gets that too. And I love that he called him Matt's. I know. I love that he even he knows that Jared, it's a pile of mats. He's a right? good sport. You can take your pile of mats selfie. If it wins. It does kind of make me want to take a nap. The, it makes me want to lay down. It can't be it. comfortable, it, right? It, it, but it looks like a pile of anything seems like it should be comfortable. Right. Though, right? If he does a stack of cups or a pile of sweaters for next year's <laughs> Art Prize. Honey and Curtis on Channel 95.7.